Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well. Today is the last day before the 21 days of prayer and fasting at Real Life Church. And I wanted to give you one more idea before we jump into it. And that is what I like to call the secret sauce of fasting. So first of all, we have defined what fasting is. It's doing without something that matters for something that matters more. And then we talked about how fasting is not about getting uh getting what you want. It's about getting closer to Jesus because when you get close to Jesus, all the good things come with him. That's not the goal of fasting. I'm just saying the byproduct of your relationship is his goodness. And then we started talking about different kinds of fasting. The one that's the most popular is food fasting where you do different times a day or what, uh, or certain foods or just whatever. Then you have uh, soul fasting, which is when you just rest your, your soul and you do without you know different various forms of entertainment so that you can just heal from the inside out. The third one we talked about yesterday was social media fasting. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, I think we could all use a little bit of that right now, right? And, and here's the question, why do you need to know, right? Don't you have enough information to know you need to pray for our nation, right? So it wouldn't hurt everybody just to take a few days off social media. But here, here's a secret sauce of fasting. I wanna share this with you and that is this, let Jesus lead. Now, let me tell you what I have done wrong so many times. I have went into my time with fasting and I have had so many uh, things that I wanted God to do, or I was asking for God to do, right? Like, like somehow if I fasted for 21 consecutive days, then God was going to owe me, right? And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say it like that. And probably on the top of my head, I didn't think like that, but somewhere down in here, I thought, Hey, if I do without a certain type of food or whatever, then man, God's gonna be really proud of me. He's gonna give me what I want. Right. And it didn't, it did, doesn't work like that. Now, there's nothing wrong with going into a fasting time asking for God to do something in your life. Okay, that, that's, not, that, that's not a problem. But that needs to be your secondary or tertiary uh, goals. Your primary goal needs to be, I just want to get closer. And Jesus, whatever you think I need is what I want. And here, here's the reason why. You might be praying for God to help you get a new job. Or you might be praying because you need a financial blessing, right? There's nothing wrong with those things, right? What if the number one thing you need in your life is to deal with some unforgiveness issues? What if you've got a little bit of an edge to your personality? There's, there's, there's a little bit there because of some unforgiveness, some bitterness inside of you. And God knows you're not going to be able to handle that new job because you're going to get fired for that attitude you're, you're struggling with. And so really the best thing he can do is not give you a job that you're not even aware you're not ready for. The best thing he could do is to bubble up to the surface some of this bitterness so that you can find rest and peace in your soul. And so the best thing you can do is to not say, God, the only thing I want out of this fasting time is for you to give me what I want. The best thing you can do is to say, I've got some things I'm going to ask you about. My number one thing is I want to get close to you and let you lead. And you will be surprised what God will do. I went into some of my fasting times having something over here I was praying for, and God did something completely different. And because I didn't recognize what it was, I walked out of my time of fasting thinking that it was a failure. It wasn't until much later that I looked back and was like, wow, look at what God did. Look, look at what God did. And so now when I go into it, and I still struggle with this, but I go into it going, God, I've got these different things. The main thing I want to do is I'm dedicating this year to you. I'm giving you the first fruits of this year. I want to get close to you. And so I can position myself to live in the goodness of God for the rest of the year. Do that and you'll be amazed at what God will do. And all the other things you're praying for, God knows you already need them before you ask. And so you ask, you're not trying to convince God to give them to you. You're trying to position yourself so you can handle what he wants to do. So I love you. If you're part of the RLC community, I can't wait to see you tomorrow, 930 or 11. We're going to talk about fasting tomorrow and the power of fasting. Also, if you watch online, I cannot wait to see you at 930 or 11. Make sure you get your notes ready to go. We're going to give you God's word that has already been shaking my heart. And I can't wait for it to encourage you as well. I love you. See you tomorrow.